So, been a while. So, we're not gonna sandblast the frame. It's gonna cost way too much money. So, what I've decided to do is I'm just gonna go get some primer right now from the store and get it painted. Um, yeah, it sucks. I really wanted to sandblast it, but I can't because they're charging me like $300 for a frame this size. So, yep. Here we go. We're gonna go get the primer and the paint. I don't even know what paint I'm gonna do, to be honest. I hadn't even thought about it. Uh, I literally just was like, it's been too long. I gotta make a video. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go and randomly choose a paint color for the frame and get this going. Let's do it. Right. Okay. So the paint's gotta match. It's gotta go well with black. So that, uh, how about, like, what's that? That's, like, sparkly blue. That's pretty cool, like a green color. That's pretty nice. I'm liking that one. Um, we want it to stand out. We're not doing that. Um, this is the color my bike is painted right now. I'm gonna need this primer. Um, so let's do, hmm, I don't know what color primer to do. Oh, that sucks. Alright, well, shit, that sucks. Okay, well, we'll just do sandable, this is just the colors of primer, right? So based off of what color we want to show up. If it's a white primer, then we want it, we'll do a light color. If it's a dark primer, then we do a dark color. Um, hmm. Filler and sandable primer. Filler and sandable primer, and that's sealer. Seals prime surfaces and increases gloss. Jesus, I didn't think of how much is gonna go into this. All right, so let's just do, let's, let's start with the color. Um, blue that's like a shiny blue um, dark pewter melt driftwood super white so if we do a white bike it'll be like fucking getting dirty all the time what color is this Emerald green. There's emerald green. And then there's deep jewel deep jewel green metallic. That's pretty nice. I like that color. Green and black. So the black will be green with this black background. See what I could do. Deep garnet pearl. Or Inferno Red. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to do a... Oh, just go stupid on him with the chrome. <laughs> you know what? Should we do chrome? Oh my god. Universal chrome paint. I don't know. I don't know. Should I do chrome? Let's. Let's look at what chrome painted stuff looks like first. Okay. So we're pre-sanding the frame again because it's got a bunch of spot rust on it because it's been sitting for so long because I haven't been a lazy bum and I've been hella busy. Also, but. Nothing that. So I'm gonna lock this door. Okay. That's and okay. just just so you don't get all fucked up. Um, yeah. Just make sure you get ready to paint and then yeah. come get us some air. Okay. Alright. Okay, so you can get once you get the spot rest off. Once the spot rest is off, then we can sand it down, but uh, that off first and then 
It's not too bad. Just a little bit from like sitting next to my sink. It's got wet a little. Spots, more rush and some spots. Um, Um, I kind of don't want to show you guys what color I'm going to do. I just kind of want it to be a surprise. Um, so I'm not going to show you the can and most of I can. You'll probably figure it out as it's getting cleaned anyway. But it's cool. Got that all shiny again, shiny, shiny, shiny. Just want it as reflective as possible. get it painted just so we can get this on the road the bike's been sitting too long i feel like i haven't been giving you guys the stuff you want um i kind of just like gave you blue balls and left you so we're gonna try to get this get it at least in assembly by this weekend i'm starting a new job so it's gonna be another up and down and then i may be starting another job after that so we don't know but uh, pray for me. I may get a good, good EV job paying really well, and I will be able to give you guys a lot more electrical vehicle content. So let's just keep that in mind. Okay, so as we're going, all right, we're not going to get all that because that's not going to be seen underneath the frame. So, uh, or at least underneath the seat. Um, so let's get it finished up, and I'm going to lay the phone down, and I'm going to see if I will lay it on the can of pink color that you guys want to see it. Okay. Always remember, safety first, wear breathing stuff. Um, I know it's all cool and fun, but when you breathe in stuff and you're 50 years old and you're health sick because you wanted to do cool stuff for YouTube, it's not gonna pay off, so. I should have a respirator on. This is like the minuscule, but I don't, I can't afford a respirator right now, so we're gonna do what we can. Um, As my manager you guys are hearing he's gonna come back for me because he doesn't want me breathing this stuff in so he's even concerned always remember when you're doing anything it's better it, it's everything is fun or safer uh you don't want a fire you don't want to burn your friends or set them on fire trust me
Okay. That would really suck balls if it fell, but I don't think it's gonna fall. Got some wire, holding it up. I'm gonna try to leave as much of this unedited as possible so you guys really see what I'm doing. Um, uh, it's gonna be kinda hard. I'll try to hold the phone and spray at the same time, but like I said, this is the first time I've ever primered anything. Um, like, we're all learning together here, guys. Um, so, first things first, primer with filler on the fill in the scratches. Uh, I guess I'll try to go over it one more time um, just to sand it and stuff. Uh, make sure it's smooth for the paint. And then once we're there, uh, we can focus on make, laying a smooth coat, smooth coats down. Once the coats are laid down smooth, um, we should be good to go. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can get any, see any spots that we need to attack. A little bit more, yeah, let's try to, let's get our sand river. Okay, I really don't want this to fall. I don't think it will. All right, cool. All right, we're just gonna go for it, y'all. We're just gonna run it. First time for everything. All right, and even coats, the equal distance. Oh, let's do it. Oh, my leg is itchy. Okay, there you go. I should spray a little slower. Okay, let's move to another side. Literally like a backyard paint job. But you guys can see how it comes out. All right, well, it's kind of focused. It's kind of gray. Now you can kind of see it's getting gray. There's parts of the frame that people are not going to see. Um, sorry, I'm like not even holding it toward the camera. Probably doing this entirely too fast, but all right, that black is starting to disappear. Got a good thing going here. My biggest problem is biting off more than I can chew, guys. So let's just try to do our best not to do that. Before we assemble the bike, we're going to have to sand the tube again. I should have taped it. 
Uh, oh. <coughs> that on a tape, so. Oh, yeah. Definitely you want to make sure you do this in a well ventilated area. Um, but we're almost done. Almost done. That's the bad thing is that, I mean, it's got a hole right there that's ventilating out, but I don't have anything to fan it or anything, so I just gotta... I think I'm starting to get it. I'm getting long strokes, and you can kind of see like it's smoothening out. So, all right. Make sure you want to get close, but not too close. I'm going back now, full send boys and girls. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is almost primered. Bunch of black down here. <laughs> Gotta get those cracks. All right, I'm getting the cracks in there pretty well. See where I already messed up. There's a bunch of dust. Yeah, I didn't wipe the frame off. Yeah, that's what I get. But I'm gonna sand it back down, so it's okay.
That's the part people won't really see, so I'm not really chipping off that. Gotta step away from it for a second and get a better eye. So I gotta tell you guys now, the first thing I did wrong was I didn't wipe the frame down. I should have wiped it down for any particulates, like dust or anything, because it definitely had dust on it. Uh, but it's okay because this is sandable primer. Once this dries, I can get at it with sandpaper a little and uh, get it, you know. Pretty even, I'm happy with that. Close plots. Well, it's not running. That's my main concern. So, um, we're gonna get out of here now. Don't wanna be in here longer than I need to be. 
don't want to be breathing this in. Remember, safety is always your first concern. Good shit, you guys. Look at this. I got as much of it as I could. Looks pretty dang solid to me. Sounds easy. Alright, so now I gotta brace primer down. I'm just gonna kill the pan. Alright, so we're double masked up now because I really don't want to be breathing in primer. It's not good for you. Uh, remember, always to be safety first whenever you're doing anything because, like I said, you don't want to hurt yourself just trying to have fun making something. So, there's my bike in pieces. So, you guys probably got the color and picture already, but it's going to be emerald green metallic so we chose that uh, I thought of it because because uh, making a fast bike I thought of Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> ironically and with Sonic the Hedgehog there's an emerald city uh, arena 
that's one of my favorite, so I thought of that. Yeah, look at that. Mmm. Look at you, Heaven's Gate, looking good. All right, let's get the painting. This shouldn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes. Hopefully I can get this laid properly. All right, we're getting somewhere. Sun to come out, just gotta lay it clear. Strong paint stone in here, so I gotta hurry up. Lay it down. Just lay it down.
team go. Green team go. All right, let's get out of here. Can't breathe. Okay, so this gives you a little perspective of what the frame is looking like. Uh, it came out real green, like I wanted. Of course, there's parts of it that aren't going to be seen from the outside, so I'm not really tripping off of the paint. I cared more about the main tubes, the outside, this area here. You know, that, those are the parts I really cared about. Um, where the paint's going to show up, uh, I wanted it to be even. Um, so, we're just going to give it a little fan dry for now. metallic so it has that weird metallic -y look so it should show up good in light I missed a little spot under there but it's okay this is all it's covered in Jesus so it's working out so crazy horse is the opposite color of this but in red it's emerald metallic red this is emerald metallic green so my bikes have a theme going. Um, I also was going for the more so on this bike with the whole uh, British Racing Jaguar metallic green color. Um, we're gonna make because we're this bike's gonna have M bars, um, a couple other things attributed to the classic cafe racers. Um, who knows? We'll see. We'll see how it, how it comes out. We're just. Letting it dry for now. Let's see if the fan. The fan doesn't really feel like it's doing nothing. So I'll let this dry for probably another 20-30 minutes. I'll pull this actually out of here. This should be good here because it's got to suck the smell of the paint out. for a little grow room. Ah, I'm always thinking about weed. Jesus Christ. All day I dream about weed. Adiwas! <laughs> or Adidaos. Adidaos. That's what we call it. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, that came out nice. That came out nice. That's gonna look good in the sun. That's gonna look real good in the sun. Dude, yeah, this is gonna look nice. This emerald green, yeah, it's gonna be fire. Mm. Got some dust imperfections on there, but this is literally like the second time I've ever painted anything, so. Or maybe the third. I painted a fender on my car once. Came out a little better. Yeah, you're looking straight at it, it looks green. Okay. All right, we're gonna let it dry a little bit more. Come back, see when, I don't know, 30 minutes, 45? Yeah. Okay, it's kind of hard to see because of the dark light and everything, but I got the green to pop a little bit. I need to paint it again, probably two more coats. So I'll probably need another two more cans to finally get it, that emerald, emerald green. It's, you see it's starting to come out there, but it's still gotta go over it a couple more coats to get it actually even and fully green. So we're gonna do it again, uh, and by then we should be ready to be on assembly, so I won't have you guys waiting much longer. But just a little more time, um, all because I just couldn't get this, the frame sandblasted. They were literally charging me like $300 just to sandblast this, and I was like, no, and then I put it on the back burner. But yeah, 
so this is what we're at now and then we're gonna get on that I want to hit it if I could hit it with a little purple then it'll have that like iridescent blue green like purple green color you know so I don't know I'll think about I'll look on some ways on how to do that I don't know really to do that but uh yeah we're gonna get there we're just taking our time uh we can't take too much time because we've been taking a while now but yep let's see, let's see if I can get down there Real green there, real green there. So, real emerald. Oh my god. So, alright, I'll get you guys updated. I'll probably put this video out tonight just to get it out of the way. And then there'll be another video. Probably on Saturday, I'll have another video. And by then, on Saturday, we should be on assembly for sure. Uh, because the paint, if I get up early and do the paint, um, It'll be dry by the afternoon. I'll hit it with some clear coat, uh, probably some glossy finisher, just to give it a little more pop, and then we should be done. All right, peace.